here today at Notting Hill of West Bloomfield, and it is my distinct honor to be able to welcome our new chamber board for 2016. I'm really excited about this board because we are not only going to try to sustain our success, we are going to exceed it. We're going to be more involved in the community and with this dynamic board ranging from people from Whole Foods and Costco to DMC here on Valley Sinai Hospital to also some small businesses, I am sure that we'll be able to engage our community and help promote our local businesses. Uh, now as a uh, continuing to be a resident and, uh, and also being a business owner in West Bloomfield, I think being a member of the Chamber of Commerce is pivotal to understanding the network and the diversity of, of this township. I think one of the great things about coming to uh, Chamber of Commerce meetings like today, you can introduce yourself and engage in audiences that you would have normally never have engaged in if you just kind of focus on your own industry. The Chamber of Commerce brings in a diverse group of people from a diverse group of industries. Um, what we've done over the last couple years, I would have to say, is really bring a chamber that is not driven by thousands of members, but by a few hundred and really create deeper relationships within the community. And that's really allowed us to be able to connect um, with both the community and businesses. Uh, chambers are extremely important for uh, the community, but extremely important for the state of Michigan. And it's been small businesses and the chambers that have been leading the way uh, back to fiscal success for the state. People do business with people they know and trust. So as much as I'm really good at connecting people, it's wonderful when they can come to these events and actually build a relationship with the people that are in our chamber and to find out who are the people that are in your community that really want to serve you. Thank you for all being here. Welcome to Notting Hill of West Bloomfield. I'm Carrie Bollier, the administrator of the community. We are a 118 bed transitional care post-acute care community. We're proud to have you and be part of the West Bloomfield community this morning. We will be offering tours after the ceremony, and I would like to introduce you to Jennifer Butterfield from Lake Surgery Center. Good morning, and uh, welcome to the Greater West Bloomfield Chamber of Con Commerce Installation 2016. I can't believe it's 2016, I know everyone feels the same. Uh, first, I'd like to thank Susan Levine. Where did she go? Thank you, Susan, for putting this together, and um, certainly thank you again to Notting Hill for our amazing breakfast and allowing us to have our installation at this facility. So thanks again. <laughs> My name is Jennifer, and I'm the administrator at Lake Surgery Center in West Bloomfield. We're located on Haggerty Road, just south of um, Pontiac Trail, and we're in the Lakes Medical Building, so I think some of you might be familiar with that building. We are a Joint Commission accredited 20,000 square foot multi-specialty ambulatory surgery center. We have over 60 physicians that utilize our center and perform procedures like cataract removal, knee arthroscopy, and colonoscopy. In 2015, Lake Surgery Center celebrated our 10 years um, of dedication in our community. We were fortunate to be awarded a special tribute by um, some of our state representatives um, certainly we have one in the room here, um, and also Clint Custo, as well as Uni U.S. Senator Gary Peters. So it's a special celebration for our facility. Um, we're physician-owned, and we have about 25 physician partners. And they are dedicated to a facility that is quality as well as cost-effective. They also want us to be patient-centered in an environment that is, you know, certainly friendly to our patients. We have over 20 physicians who have been awarded top doc status um, from the Our Detroit magazine, which I think is a pretty huge accomplishment for a center our size. Again, we're only 20,000 square feet, so um, to have that many surgeons in our facility have that status is, is pretty remarkable. Lake Surgery Center has been a member of the Greater West Bloomfield Chamber of Commerce for over five years. Recently, we've taken a more active role and have become members of the Senior Resource Group, which is a subcommittee of chamber members that are dedicated to helping to connect the Greater West Bloomfield senior community and their adult children 
with the resources necessary to improve the quality of their life. In many ways, I can say that Lake Surgery Center's involvement and affiliation with the Chamber and the SRG has helped us gain community recognition. It has certainly led us to the formation of many great personal and business relationships with everybody here in the room. So when I need something, whether it's a, a website or a YouTube video or you know thank you cards or any of those kind of services, I certainly look to the people in this room first for those and hopefully you know, as you're my choice for services that Lake Surgery Center will be your choice um, as an outpatient place to go for if you ever need a surgery or you need a colonoscopy or something along those lines. <laughs> so I encourage you to go to our website <laughs> and you can see the full list of surgeons that we have there. So if you or a family member you know, need to have something done, take a look at our website. It's lakesurgerycenter.com. On there is a full list of all the surgeons that utilize our facility, and you know there's 60 of them, so most of you probably know them. Um, they're probably already your doctors because they've also been in this community, you know, 20, 30, 40 years um, in some cases. Now I'd like to introduce another person highly dedicated to our community. This individual joined WXYZ in 1998. She is an Emmy Award-winning news anchor and reporter who anchors who co-anchors Action News at noon and at 5 p.m. She's also the Don't Waste Your Money consumer reporter, which is huge. <laughs> she has deep roots in our community. She has her and her husband are big supporters of the Michigan Golf Program in Detroit, which teaches inner city children the fun game of golf as well as life skills. She helps in numerous Charities supports the Salvation Army, has volunteered as the co-host of the Jerry Lewis MDA Telethon, and she is certainly active in the fight against ovarian cancer. Please welcome with a round of applause our distinguished MC Joanne Purton, an amazing role model, mom, wife, daughter, and certainly an exceptional reporter who we enjoy watching. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. One thing I realized, I need to update my bio. It's been a while. I now do our 4 o'clock newscast. Shame on me, for six months ago I started that and haven't updated my bio, so <laughs> I need to do these events to learn what I'm, not, uh, what I'm not doing. First of all, none of us are old enough to need a colonoscopy, right? <laughs> but when we are, we will come to you, for sure. <laughs> You're welcome. No, it is, it is great from, to hear from you and great to be here um, today. I grew up in Bloomfield um, Township, but my parents live in West Bloomfield. They moved on a lake, on Upper Straits Lake. Um, the day I got my first job in Albany, New York, and I, I said to them, because we used to live, like I said, in Bloomfield Township, at uh, uh, kind of like Wing Lake and uh, um, whatever, it doesn't really matter where, but we lived there. And then the day I got my job, they closed or they, they bought the house on the lake. I'm like, really? Now I'm moving to Albany, New York, and now you're moving on a lake in West Bloomfield? But anyway, so I, I'm in West Bloomfield a lot, grew up coming to West Bloomfield. Um, uh, my parents, again, lived there, and we, you know, from the Costco, which we frequented, the West Bloomfield restaurants that we've been to many times, and unfortunately, um, Henry Ford Hospital has become almost a second home lately. My mom's had uh, some health challenges over the last couple years, and we've, we've been there a number of times. Um, but what an amazing hospital West Bloomfield, Henry Ford West Bloomfield Hospital is. And what amazing shopping. Have you ever just gone and shopped? <laughs> I mean, seriously, I walk in there and there's groups of people and they're playing cards and they're hanging. I, what an amazing facility to have. And I live in Novi, but to, to have in our backyards the caliber of doctors in, in the wonderful hospital. So anyways, very familiar with West Bloomfield. Love it. Was happy to, uh, to come and be here today to support the chamber and all of the businesses in this city. Um, you mentioned that I do the Don't Waste Your Money reports, which so I'm passionate about consumer reporting. It's been my favorite kind of reporting I've done through the years. I've covered health issues through the years as well, and uh, and done some general assignment reporting. But the health or the um, Don't Waste Your Money reporting that I've done, and most recently I started almost two years ago doing Moms of Genius segments. And I don't know if you, any of you have seen them, but we have a real commitment to profiling. Mompreneurs, although not all are moms, that may be the name given by my news director, but 
Sometimes they're just great women with great ideas who aren't moms, and I just work them in anyways, saying moms everywhere will say she's a genius. Which, <laughs> so when you hear I say that, it doesn't matter mom or not. But I, I, I've spent two years profiling probably close to 80 women who have taken an idea, maybe a passion that they've had, and they've turned it into a business. And um, very often a successful business. Many of these women have yet to turn a profit, but it takes a while to turn a profit when you're a new business owner. But they're plugging along, and they've been willing to take the risk, and they're going for it. Um, and I've loved that. I've loved being able to profile these women and give them the publicity, because it's amazing what a TV story can even do for someone in their business just to get the word out for them. Because when you're a small business, and many of you know the advertising dollars may not be there, some of these women, before they're able to hire people, they're doing everything on their own. They're the advertiser, the CEO, they're everything. So, so it's been neat. So first of all, I urge all of you, if you know of, of women who have started their own businesses, and I know many of you have and are aware of them, please reach out to me, have them send me an email. Um, be, I only do one a week, so sometimes I get an email and it may take six months, but, but I love to entertain all ideas and see what people are doing in our communities all over the area because they're incredible. Um, some of the highlights, a woman, Kelly's Caramels, best caramels you'll ever have in your entire life. Absolutely fantastic. These were family recipes. A lot of, these, a lot of the people who have done food-type recipes are recipes that people have decided, i got to make a business out of this. And they have, and they've been incredibly successful. Kelly's Caramels, Mother Mary's Toffee, best toffee I've ever had, truly. And, and some of these, Kelly's Caramels in Troy, Farmington Hills, the Twisted Pretzel, Immerman Cake Company in Bloomfield Hills, maybe you've heard about that. Fabulous mother and son, son team who took a recipe and had a... Um, her, the, the mom's other son was diagnosed with cancer, and as he recovered, they decided, what can we do to kind of put out good food out there, healthy organic food out there? And they make an incredible organic coffee cake that is absolutely fabulous. So anyway, some of those. Others have taken twists on their own career. I profiled a woman lately um, who was a graphic for, designer for years, and she started the Pop Art Studio in Clawson. I don't know if any of you have been to the... Um, painting with a twist in any of the many locations. Love those places, right? Love them. Have been there numerous times and have the great art, you know, around. Well, art, that's a stretch. But anyways, <laughs> might not ever look like the, the artists who are up there showing you how to do it, right? But it's so much fun to do. So this is just a quick take on it, where you take your favorite picture of someone that you love, whether your dog, your kids, a car, anything, and then Bonnie Swope is her name. She takes it. And she does her graphic artist, like pop art style with it on the computer and some hand illustration. And then it's kind of like painting uh, by numbers without the numbers. And she gives you this outline and gives you some guidelines on how to paint it. And then you paint it. And it's um, I mean, fabulous. I wish I would have brought the picture because you, you think, I could never do this. This is going to look horrible. And you step back when you're done painting. You're like, oh, my word, look what I just painted there. So anyways, it's kind of neat because you can go to parties, and everyone's painting their own picture at these parties. So anyway, she took that and, and made it into a business. There's a teacher in Livonia who had, um, she's a special ed teacher, and she decided that there was so much, she does a blog with her friend, and that there are so many great Michigan-made products out there that people aren't aware of. They started blogging about them, and then they decided, well, wait, if people knew about these products more, they'd buy them. So they run a company called Bundled, and they take like five or six different Michigan-made products. They have a woman's bundle, a, a man's bundle, a baby bundle, and they take these products and they put them in, in boxes. But the, the beautiful thing to me is she has people with STEP in Livonia Services to, to Enhance Potential, a nonprofit. She has special needs adults bundle these boxes and put them together. Now, she could do this herself in her basement. You know, the, the orders aren't crazy yet. I mean, she has the time to do that. But she doesn't. She wants to employ and, and help these special needs people. So there's so many people making a difference in every community in our area. And I know they're in West Bloomfield as well. And I just encourage you to reach out to me to, uh, to let me know about some of these people. Um, because I know the importance of, of small businesses in our area. There's a lot of talk about major manufacturers in, in the country, right? But I, I truly know that small businesses are truly the backbone, really, of, of the nation and the people we employ. According to the Small Businesses Association, small enterprises employ 52% of all U.S. workers. 19.6 million Americans work for companies employing fewer than 20 workers. 
18 and a half million work for firms employing between 20 and 99 and 14.6 million work for firms with 100 to 499. So that's why chambers like this are so vitally important as you all know if you're part of it to help small businesses to help businesses in the community of any size um, you know make a difference and succeed. So Anyways, I'm happy to be here today, and I'm happy to, uh, to you know, celebrate the work you do and the new board coming in today. And with that, I would like to introduce to you now Romy Shubatowski, the outgoing chamber president. Thanks. Thanks very much, Joanne. Move this down a bit. It's tough being short. Sometimes. Sometimes. You know what, I just have to start out by saying, wow, just what a phenomenal year that we had. And let's just take a minute now and just clap our hands and give a great big applause to everybody here. I mean, everyone in this room has been wonderful. Take your hand and pat yourself on the back because it's because of you that our referrals have been up, our revenue this year has been great, and um, the support, the sponsorships that we've gotten have just been wonderful. So, um, you know, you deserve it. You deserve to take that time now just to think about you making it special. Um, everyone has, has a part and has a role. Today, the board will, you know, be inducted and, we, you know, we'll continue on, and our new president, Tim, will be, you know, leading and continuing on. But, but it's not just the board, it's also the supporting members. As I said, the referrals, the sponsorships and all, which is great. So this year, there are a lot of different events that we hosted for the businesses, for the community members, and everyone that was there. And for all of these programs that we had, we had an overwhelming response to everything that we've done. And that is just remarkable. We've um, had events that were sold out. I, there's not a lot of chambers out there that can say, we had a sold out event. I mean, we had to turn people away. We had to have waiting lists when we did our award ceremonies, which was great. We had our leadership um, event. Uh, we had our speakers from well-known companies. That, you know, that says a lot, that people support us. They want to know, as Joanne was saying, about these small businesses that are out there that want to thrive and, uh, you know, be successful. So it was good to have that. We had educational seminars, ones that were there for you so that you can go and, you know, create your website. We have Scott here that is a mastermind of how to, you know, put up websites. He devoted his time. So as we were talking about the businesses in the area, these small businesses, so that they can continue on and grow and be, you know, out there to expand beyond West Bloomfield to let people know about our area here in West Bloomfield and, you know, the great things that we do. So as a chamber, that's why we should be proud of ourselves. We, we went beyond, beyond what was ever thought of that we could for this year. So that has been a lot. That says a lot of what we can do. We, we do our coffees, as we said, um, in the morning. Mix and mingles is what they're called. After hours, you know, we do, we do those. And all those are, like, special. And it seems like we get together and do those. But they always have a special twist to them. You know, we have, um, like, the painting, you know, coming up. We have designed for women, you know, this special event, a spa night, and all those take on a little special twist. It's not just come and meet. There's, they're meeting the needs of the businesses that we have here, the, your needs that you have, but it's also helping out that individual entrepreneur that's starting out. And I think that's a lot about what the chamber is, and that's what's um, making a lot to our success. And also with our success, it's creating the community of not just businesses, but the people coming in. The, um, the members, the, um, the schools, the municipalities that we work with. We're, all those families now are seeing it with the great things that we have going on when we work with the Parks and Recreation. Uh, so it's helping strengthening the bond of the community and also letting, as I said before, the other areas come in and um, you know, come into West Bloomfield and check out the local stores because they've heard of what was happening through our advertising of and announcing of events that we do. So that's just a great, uh, you know, a great thing to be proud of. But we also have a lot of special things that go on during this time because it's not just attending the events and going to them. It's also a matter of um, people that make this possible. And I'd like to um, have Suzanne Levine, our executive director, come up here. She's in the back of the room. Come up, Suzanne. <laughs> Suzanne, our executive director, she has taken, she is 
partially responsible for taking, um, partially she was a great responsibility for taking this um, chamber to new, new heights, new adventures. She has the drive and the passion to go on and to see the vision of a business that can partner with another business to help both of them out and to let community members know that they're in the, you know, that they're here for you. So it's with that that we um, thank her for coming up with unique ideas for this. And we also have a special gift for you, but we also have a special rec recognition today for you from our Senator Mike Colwell. Don't cry. <laughs> this is really a great occasion. You know, it's, <clears throat> it's so important that, uh, that we recognize chambers, not only in our own area, but all over the state of Michigan. And I'm, I'm extremely fortunate to be able to represent an area of Michigan that is, uh, in my, my opinion, the best part of the state of Michigan, which in, encompasses the West Bloomfield area. But Susan, <clears throat> you've done an outstanding job over the years, and you've been very welcoming to people. And, that, and I think that's the most important part, is the fact that when new people come in, your face is one of the first ones they see, and it's a very welcoming uh, experience. So thank you for doing that. But it, let it be known as with uh, great joy that we commend Susan Levine on excellence in both her professional and personal life. Always driven to succeed, Suzanne has had, uh, has and continues to have a very remarkable and productive life. Suzanne graduated Wayne State with a BS in journalism and began her career as a journalist with Channel 7. Eventually going on to work for PBS, Suzanne spent 25 years in the field of video production and television before becoming the executive director of the West Bloomfield Chamber, where she excels in matching good fitting businesses with one another, as well as creating partnerships between chamber members and appropriate persons and organizations. And you know, your personal life and professional life is just outstanding and it's just exciting to know people like yourself. Uh, in addition to her personal career, Suzanne is married to her wonderful husband, Steve, of 25 years. The couple have, uh, they have three children, Scott, Lauren, and Zachary, who have blessed them with a granddaughter, Ar 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 Arlen? Ariel. Ariel. And, uh, and with another granddaughter on the way, Mazel Tov. <laughs> In special tribute, therefore, this document is signed and dedicated to Suzanne in honor of her professional and personal successes. May she know of our esteem and our best wishes for continued success. It's signed by uh, Mike McCready, your state representative, myself, your state senator, and Governor Rick Snyder, and it's affixed with the great seal of the state of Michigan. Congratulations. <laughs> That's great. It's well deserved. Well, well, well deserved. So as I continue, um, thank you also to the board, uh, for the colleagues on the board for your support this year. And as I started out saying that with your direction, with, your, with Suzanne's ideas, her outshoots of doing, as Jennifer mentioned, the senior resource group, the entrepreneurs, the board was there for her to support her to say when she had these ideas, yes, let's go ahead, do it. What do you need from us? Let's do it. And it's great to have a team like that. So thank you very much for um, being so um, instrumental in all of that that uh, has been done in, in making the chamber grow and not just uh, offer events and, and be there as a resource when people call, when visitors call. And that's great. Um, what I'd like to do now is just to um, thank our sponsors who uh, made today possible for us, Notting Hill. Thank you very much for a wonderful spread and for uh, having us here today. We appreciate that. And for the LaFont Automotive Group for providing the shuttles and Amanda Jones and Jack uh, Winslow for driving us back and forth. We appreciate that so much. The Lake Surgery Center, as Jennifer came up and told us all about uh, our health that we should take care of. And uh, in 12 Oaks, we are, uh, are also another sponsor. And for the taping of today's show, the Civic Center TV and Motown Digital, 
CNG newspapers, Joanne Purton from um, WXYZ TV, and for our installation, Judge Diane DiAgostini from the 48th District Court. Um, thank you very much for um, being here with us today and helping us go through um, our, our, um, our program. But we also have a special recognition as, um, as um, others that are here today, as we had Mike uh, Cowell, our senator from the majority floor leader of Michigan's 15th uh, State Senate District. If we can uh, have you stand, Mike, and we can give you a hand for being here. <laughs> And I, I'm looking at the room. I was out there earlier, and I'm not sure. I didn't see Michelle come in, but, uh, and a few others I haven't seen come in. So um, we do have Chief Patton in the back that I see. Thank you. And this is the support that we like. From the community, we have the municipalities here. Um, so I do appreciate that. Um, did I, Suzanne, I'm looking at you if I missed anybody, because on my list, I'm looking, and I don't see people here, and I don't want to overlook anybody. Oh, Kathy, you're, you're right. Direct vision, too. Kathy Shaughnessy, the West Bloomfield clerk. Okay. Is that? Okay. Thank you very much for joining us, as I said. And I, I've had a great year, and I appreciate all the support that everyone has given me. And I know our 2016 will continue. The fire will keep going on and grow stronger as we continue on. Thank you. Thank you, Romy, and thank you for all of your hard work over the last year. All right, let's get down to the order of business today, um, installation here of the new members. And to help us do that is the Honorable Judge Diane D'Agostini. She was elected a district judge in November of 2000, having won all 84 precincts in the 48th District. Reappointed Chief Judge by the Michigan Supreme Court, effective January of 2012. Judge D'Agostini was reelected to the 48th District Court for a six-year term in November of 2006. I promised her I wouldn't read her entire bio or resume, but just a few key points. She finds great reward in teaching our youth about the law, so vitally important. She formed a program directly, specifically for children called Order in the Court. The program has involved thousands of local fourth graders who come to court to learn about the law in a simple and age-appropriate manner, featuring a mock trial staged by the students, and it's been uh, named favorite field trip by many schools. Um, she also devotes most of her, much of her professional and personal time to educating our youth about the dangers of underage drinking and drug use as well. She holds court sessions at local schools so that students can view the direct ramifications of drug and alcohol use. Prior to being elected a district judge, she served as an assistant prosecutor in Oakland County from 1991 to 2000, and she was awarded the Domestic Violence Prevention Award by the Oakland County Coordinating Council Against Domestic Violence in 2011. So I introduce to you now the Honorable Judge Diane D'Agostini. Good morning, good morning everyone. It's so nice to be here. Um, I, I love seeing positive things in the community and this group is super positive. Um, to hear that uh, your events sell out, I'm thinking why wasn't I there? Uh, that's cool. <laughs> That, that is really, really nice, and I, I have to say, meeting Joanne Purton is sort of cool for me. I have been, no, I've been watching you for the longest time. I think you're so awesome. <laughs> so, okay, so I am here to give the new members the oath, and this is one of the best parts of my job. Um, I, I love to look at people's eyes when they're swearing to their oath because it really tells you how excited and happy they are to be in their position and to really work hard for their community. So I will now call up the new members, um, Hamilton Gaydon, Renee Mahone, Angela Samuels, Risa Pinkston, Terry Kerrigan, and Stacy Zatkovich. And I apologize if I pronounced any names wrong. So we're gonna, we're gonna have the new members right here, and then we're gonna call up the rest of the board, um, and that will be the executive committee as well. Okay, so it's, it's gonna get a little crowded, so let's have the, um, the new members step forward a little bit, and then the board, the board stand behind them so that they can all be a part of taking of the oath. So I'll call up Tim Ferris, Jody Labuda, Deb Spencer, Rami Shubitowski, I'm sorry, Romy, Clara Bohr, 
Jennifer Butterfield, Milton Durad, John Edwards, Rick Anthony, Eric Glick, Kelly Woodley, Emily Tauscher, Shane Pliska, uh, G. Robin Maddock, Pam Dover, and Pam Sajak. Okay, good morning everyone. All right then, to the new members, you are taking your oath. If you could all raise your right hands, please. And repeat after me, please. I do as an officer or director, hereby swear or affirm that I will support the bylaws, the bylaws and, mission and mission of the Greater West Bloomfield Chamber of Commerce. I promise to be a responsible, proactive advocate of business interests in the Greater West Bloomfield Chamber of Commerce. I pledge to uphold our goal to help businesses grow and prosper while improving the quality of life, quality of life in, West in West Bloomfield. I will faithfully implement, will faithfully implement the, duties of my office the duties of my office as a member, as a member of the Greater West Bloomfield, the Greater West Bloomfield Chamber, of Commerce, Chamber of Commerce to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability throughout my term. Congratulations. Congratulations, everybody, and thank you, Judge, very much. And it's a greater pleasure meeting you, Judge. You're way cooler than I am, trust me. <laughs> All right, I would like to introduce to you now the incoming president of the Greater West Bloomfield Chamber of Commerce, Tim Ferris. Tim is vice president and group director for Upstream Investment Partners. Tim has 25 years of financial industry experience. He has been recognized for the last three years in our magazine as a five-star wealth advisor. Tim, you're not doing so great these days, are you, with the market? Actually, you're probably doing fine. We're all not doing so great with the market, right? But we count on our wealth advisors to calm our fears during these times, right? So we appreciate that, that you do. I think the futures were maybe up today, so I think we're gonna be okay. All right, this is Tim's fifth year, by the way, as member of the GWB board. Outside of his work and time with the chamber, Tim is an active member with the Belle Isle Aquarium. He spends his family time with his girlfriend, Jacqueline Wright, and his two kids, Allie and Ryan. So again, I'd like to introduce Tim Ferris. Thank you, everybody. This is a, a, a great opportunity today, and I'd like to thank again Notting Hill for offering this wonderful venue for us. Um, you know, this is, oh, I gotta speak into that. <laughs> okay, I'm honored by this appointment. Um, I was introduced to the Chamber of Commerce a little over five years ago, and boy, has the Chamber in both the Chamber and West Bloomfield as a community grown over that period of time. Um, I believe that this has been a, a result of my predecessors, Romy, and the presidents that have come before her. In addition to the work that Suzanne's done with our chamber, it's made it very easy for me to be part of this transition. Um, this is both a celebration of change and continuity. Because of the work that we've laid out over the last five years or so, we've been in a position now of strength to be able to go into the community and have a deeper reach. A lot of folks have looked at our chamber and what separates us from, per se, Farmington or the other chambers out there. And I think that over the last few years, we've really defined that. And what that's come to, to be in our chamber is, is a, 
a real deeper relationship and we've had a greater impact within the chamber itself and the business community as well as the community as a whole. We've made a lot of progress and as Romy had touched on, um, we've incorporated a lot of ideas that have now come into action which have now created uh, influence in the community and our voice as a chamber has become greater. And it's with that we look to move forward and what we look to be able to do is to have some going into 2016, well, there it is. <laughs> going into 2016, we look to be able to take uh, our success of 2015 and use that as a, as a launching pad for which we can be able to move forward. You know, goals as a chamber each year change and we've gone from the fundamentals to now the visionary goals. Um, as Romy had mentioned, you know, who is to believe we've upgraded our problems? Um, we had a wonderful leadership luncheon. In years past, we've had to really solicit hard to be able to get people to attend. And with this year's Shinola event, we had people calling on the last day looking to get an opportunity to get a seat at a table which wasn't available. And that's an upgraded problem. Um, so going into our next year, um, you know, what my goal is as president is pretty straightforward is to main maintain the success that we've already started. And by that I mean um, continue to forge um, deeper relationships with the companies that we are, we are involved with. Uh, secondly, take our ideas that have become um, really um, part of the community, in particular our, our senior resource group. What we've done in the years past is come up with an idea of being able to look at our businesses and forge partnerships within businesses to create a greater effectiveness of how we can serve the community. And what we've been able to do with this is to really align with the community and really take off this year. You'll see in the Parks and Rec, for example, we've aligned with our senior resource group that now we're hosting events and fun opportunities within the community where we've been really able to get our businesses in touch with the people that they serve. So as part of our goal is to really take those relationships and forge them going forward. Um, leverage the resources in the community, make sure that we're taking advantage of everything that's out there. Um, part of that in the past has been just knowing what's available to us to take advantage of. And then finally, to be able to expand our reach. Like I would mentioned initially, is, is the, the one value that the Chamber's offered, it's not the biggest in the community, but we like to think it's the deepest relationships, and that's been a result of the culture that we've created. And going forward, when we look for new members, it's not just merely to get you to sign up to get the good housekeeping seal of approval, but more importantly, to be able to join our network and be able to see how you can be helped and how the, how the chamber can help you. And with that, I'd like to thank you for the opportunity. I look forward to serving you in the next 12 months. Um, with special recognition, I've got a gift for Romy. Thank you very much for the... Thanks, thanks again for coming out this morning. And I'll, turn the, and I'll turn the floor back over. Thank you. I lost my second page of the program. I think that's it, right? Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. Phew. Didn't know there was something else I was supposed to do. Well, anyways, it was a pleasure being here. Um, pleasure meeting so many of you today, seeing your smiling faces. I don't usually have makeup on this early because I, you know, I get up, I get the kids off to school, I have to be ready for the noon show, I put on makeup at work about 11, so this was, this was a stretch this morning, but, uh, <laughs> but I was glad to do it for all of you today, so if my makeup looks a little worn by 4 o'clock today, that's why. Anyways, no, it's a pleasure. I wish you continued success. I thank you for what you do. I thank you for making a difference in small businesses in the lives of these people who start them because I'll tell you what, you have to have a personality that is willing to, to take a risk and to go out there and put yourself out there to start a business, right? And I know some of you here represent big businesses and some smaller, and I've seen Costco in the room, right? Okay, that's a big business. But, but there are also probably mom and pop shops here. And, and that takes a lot. That takes a huge risk and a huge commitment on your part to step out and to try to make a difference. And so I commend all of you involved with the chamber that you reach out to the chamber for help, that you're part of the chamber, those of you on the board, that you can make a difference in helping kind of beat the statistics of the numbers 
small businesses that fail, because it's hard to do. But if we can all support each other, me on the TVN, the little that I can do, all of you helping each other, I think we can we can make a success of uh, and, and make a great life for our lives for ourselves. So thank you very much for inviting me, Suzanne. I'm glad they could surprise you today and uh, with your award. And um, best of luck to all of you in the next year. Thank you. Thank you.